All right, test, 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 <clears throat> test. And welcome back to Convincing Idiots. This is segment number three. I am Millennial Nick, along with Gen X Brian, Zenial Dean. Hey, that's me. Brothers in crime. We are here for a very spooky dooky third segment of Convincing mm-hmm. Idiots. That's correct. So, many things are classics. Much like this podcast. This podcast is a classic. There are many, many that staples. That movie you were telling us about uh, off Correct. Air. Yes, that's right. Uh, many, uh, many <laughs> staples in pop culture. Um, but certainly for this time of year, uh, some of the biggest staples in, uh, as we discussed earlier, horror movies, scary movies. The Halloween season brings these things about. Spooky Think of classic, season. classic horror films like the OGs, like uh dracula uh the creature of the black lagoon is seen on brian's shirt you got the wolfman mummy all kinds turbo of cool man. characters turbo man that's right <laughs> that's fucking yeah Ted from next door was poaching wives mm-hmm. so many scary characters and so we have decided that this week for our third and final segment the spirit of halloween and the spirit of these legendary characters in film and horror films specifically we would maybe discuss some different adaptations, some of our favorite adaptations mm-hmm. based off of uh, these legendary characters that uh, that uh, lay the paved the path. So, um, mm-hmm. Brian, why don't you go? Like, what, what are we looking for here? This was your idea. You, you had this brilliant idea, Frankenstein. Like, what is so we're talking? Like, doesn't I mean, have, doesn't it's not the original, but explain it. Different yeah, versions. Yeah, you said you said you, you explained it very well. So yeah, the original, like you think about the original, like Universal movie monsters, like you mentioned most already. Like you said, the Mummy, Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the Mummy, uh, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Those original horror movie monsters. They've, like you said, there's been different uh, versions of these movies, reboots, sequels to the originals. So, like you said, just any any movie or TV show, whatever that. That you enjoy some of your favorites that has these characters in it, other than the original movie. That's really it. You know, so that the, the you know tons and tons of options uh, that are out there. So that's that's exactly it. So just if any come to mind, we'll talk about them a little bit and why you enjoy them. So, Dean, why don't we start with you? Do you have one in mind, sir? Oh, I sure do. Uh, my number one on my list uh, really should be number one on everybody's list and number one in their hearts. Hmm. Um, we're going to go back to 1995 with the, uh, esteemed, creative, beautiful, and wonderful actor, Leslie Nielsen, portraying Dracula in Dracula (laughs) Dead and Loving It. Oh, man. It was a hilarious performance. Um, some might call breathtaking. I don't know. Hmm. Um, you should all go watch it. Definitely go watch it, especially for spooky season here. And, uh, let me know what you think. Dracula, dead and loving it. I don't e- remember anything about that movie at all. I oh, it's think. so silly. It, yeah. Mm. It, it, but it's great. It's, it's like any Leslie Mills movie. Mm. It was great. I, was like, I had a hit with these uh, police squad movies yep, and stuff. Just and they keep kept going. bringing him back for that. Some of those movies were like, eh. Well, well, you fact, he, like uh, Repossessed. Repossessed mm-hmm. was a fantastic okay. one. I'm prepared mm-hmm. with all the, 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 the shit talking that's going to come with this question. But is that the all dude right. that made Airplane? Is that what Leslie? Is that Leslie? Yes, that's right. Is that right? Okay. He's the, he's the yep. doctor in the movie Airplane. Yep. Okay. Surely you can't be ser- uh, serious. I am. Okay. Don't call me Shirley. No, so you never saw the, the, the white haired man? The white haired yes. man? Is that, yes. Okay. Gotcha. You never saw Police Squad? No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that might, that make, might be one like we did Airplane. Naked Gun movies that were. Naked yeah, Gun. Naked yeah. Yeah, okay. we might need to do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving on. All right, Nick, do you have any in mind? Yes. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, this one's maybe a little bit of a cheat code, but uh, certainly, uh, all, I'd say, actually, yeah, pretty much all characters 
uh, from the classics. Most of the characters from the classics are represented in this uh, TV adaptation that is a classic, The Monsters. Uh, yes. You've got Frankenstein, you've got the Wolfman, your Wolf Boy, you've got the Vampire, mm-hmm. Grandpa. Um, I, I love the Monsters. Uh, it's a fantastic show. I know uh, all of us here appreciate that show. We've talked about it on past episodes. Um, but definitely, that was a Nick at Night favorite for me. Definitely yep. enjoyed the Monsters. Um, and uh, obviously, all the characters were taken from those those classic uh, horror films and brought into a uh, hilarious little sitcom. So, uh, yeah, the monsters. Need I say more? Fantastic show. So you have Herman, who is Frankenstein, Lily, who is a vampire. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 little Eddie Monster is a little wolf boy. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, Herman didn't ask questions. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Where, how did we? Um, yeah, they don't. You got, look you like, got like a cousin yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. That's uh, just saying. Guy, I would have or... questions if I was Herman. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Herman was never <laughs> accused of uh, necessarily putting all the pieces together. So maybe that's, that's true. Uh, part that of the, true. Perhaps that's she, part of the comedy that the undertone. She got away that, with a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, that, that was on my list too, Nick. Monster is one of my favorite shows of all time. Like I said, it's only a couple seasons. Yeah. But you can find it out there on streaming. It's, it's, it's like you said, always, always a lot of fun. Fred Gwynn is f- phenomenal on that show. Yeah. 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 Great, great stuff. Uh, one of my favorite iterations of the Frankenstein's monster as well, uh, played by the great uh, Peter Boyle, one of the, one of his early works. And the great Gene Wilder, it, in my opinion, one of the best roles that Gene Wilder ever played in the movies at the Mel Brooks movie, Young Frankenstein. So love, love, love that movie. It's a great. I have that it's, on my list as well. Yeah, just everything about it is great. Matter of fact, I've mentioned this before. My dog is named Igor after Marty Feldman's Igor purposeful mispronunciation of Igor because of, you know, Dr. Frankenstein is Frankenstein. He doesn't, to, he doesn't want to be associated with Frankenstein originally. So many uh, comedic. I think the dog has the same eyes movie. as Igor from the movie. Too. That's that's right. He does today. Yeah. That's for sure. Yep. 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 Poor boy. Uh, that's it. See you, Frankenstein. Bless his favorite. fuzzy little soul. That's right. My favorite movies of all time, uh, let alone uh, comedy type horror movies. And right around the corner from me, right now in the hallway, I have a Young Frankenstein movie poster hanging up proudly, which has been there for many Damn years. It. We ha. We didn't think hmm. about this well and uh, thoroughly enough. We mm-hmm. should have gotten together and recorded this episode live in your upstairs bathroom because your upstairs That's bathroom right. is an homage. I feel like to right. yeah, true. we, we, we should be doing this in your bathroom. That's yeah, absolutely. Well, we should be we doing should a lot something of next time you guys are in bathroom. <laughs> absolutely, yep. Podcast in Brian's bathroom. We'll, we'll mm-hmm. do a quick, a, a quick, a quick episode, if you will. Yeah, mini. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm game for mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dean, what else you got on your list? Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to go. It's a little off the beaten path. Like I said, I, I was a little confused um, when we first put this together. But I'm going to go Hollow Man. Uh, Kevin Bacon and Hollow Man and was the 2000. I thought for uh, sure you were going to say Night Court when you said you didn't yeah. understand the assignment. <laughs> like, you can't do that. <laughs> Hollow Man was a, um, a take oh, on Kevin the Invisible Bacon. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was a take on the Invisible Man. Okay, sure. And it was it was legitimately like it was creepy. Like it, he mm-hmm. it he was thrown into madness by not being able to see himself anymore. Mm-hmm. And he was a doctor; and he couldn't fix himself. So it is a take on the Invisible Man. But it was called yep. Hollow Man in the mm-hmm. year two thousand. And um, yeah, it was it was a kick ass movie. I loved that movie. I yeah. very much loved that movie. And like Fantastic. it was uh yeah, just very like you said at the, at the end where he's storming the lab and they what do they have to like the the sprinklers went off or something and yep. that's how you could see him yep. because uh, you could the, see the, the outline the, the of the water. Two thousand was awesome. Yeah, they were great. Especially hmm. that scene where he's Rona feeling Mitra. up what's her f- he's feeling Rona her up, and uh-huh. it's just a boob and a nipple being pulled yeah. and you can't see anything and the boobs just moving in weird ways. Yeah, it was very cool. Feeling her up. Which is totally not cool, by the way. I mean, not not cool in that respect. Well, but he is—he uh, was the bad guy. I mean, right? It's as, not as like a young, they, weren't uh, play, they weren't playing it for like, oh, right. This is it. They're enjoying yeah. this. No, he was 
of e- the evil yeah. monster. So, and as a kid in middle school at the time, I enjoyed that scene. It was sure. Cool. Ronamitra is, uh, you know, a bit of all right. Yeah. No, it's good. It's a good one. I I, I saw that movie years ago, but you're right. I do remember that you, you talked about it. There was there was a it was a creepy movie, and you're right. The Invisible Man definitely fits that description. That is one of the original. Yeah. Universal movie monster mm-hmm. characters for sure. That actually the original Very is quite good. good. Yeah. So all right. Nick, what else you got? Nikolai. Uh next up I'm going to go with and I don't, this is another one. It's kinda like I don't know if it qualifies or not, but I really enjoyed it. It was uh just put out last year. I know we all watched it. It was on Disney Plus, it was a Marvel property, and it was Werewolf by Night. Uh, I th- it was actually okay. very similar, or you know what I would imagine to similar to those old horror movies, the way it was shot, the way it looked, and uh, mm-hmm. certainly a lot of callbacks to uh, some of those creatures and characters from those early horror movies. So I just thought Werewolf by Night was really well done. I really enjoyed it. It was great, just a one shot, like a one off thing. What was it like forty minutes or something like that? Just mm-hmm. I don't know. Rumor is they're going to put it back cool. out this year in color. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I like it in black and white, but that would, yeah. Well, I mean, it was a color at the end, you know, when, yeah. The, mm-hmm. but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just thought it was really cool. I thought it was shot really cool. I thought it was a really cool vibe and, uh, I really just enjoyed it a lot. So I put werewolf by night on mine as well. There you go. That's a good one. And Nick, I literally rewatched that right before this show. Did you? And I, yeah. Cause I, I nice. wanted to get sort of in the, in the, in the, in the spirit. It's like, it's 58 minutes long. So you said less than an hour. And it, like you said, I, I enjoyed it. As much the second time around as the first time around. Like you said, there's a lot, a lot of fun elements again, of that. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, it was good. And then the man thing is in it. The man thing yes. is a pretty cool character and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was, like you say, a lot of fun. Go check it out. Yeah. Uh, okay, next on my list, I've got um, a, a Bram Stoker's, not, not a Bram Stoker, but Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is the more the you know the, Gary the retelling Gary Oldman, mm-hmm. uh, Keanu Reeves, yep, Winona uh, Ryder, Winona Ryder, yeah, such a good Man. movie. It's, it's, it's just awesome, and it, it goes along with the book. Actually, the, the original Dracula plays you know is is close. I've read the book, you know, admittedly, but it's true to the original storyline, the original Bela Lugosi Dracula, and this is just takes it to a whole other level. Like I said, Gary Oldman, is, it's yeah, phenomenal. The effects, the acting, just the whole thing is terrific. Uh, so if, if for some reason you've never seen the Bram Stoker's, or maybe you haven't watched it in some time, this certainly would be the season to go back and revisit that. So just, I think it holds up well. I think I watched it last season. Okay. So great, great, great version of Dracula, very creepy and, and scary. So go check out Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. Dean? Um, well, I'm going to go in the same vein as you. Um, I'm going to go Hugh Jackman as Van Helsing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 2004, fighting, you know, his arch nemesis, uh, Dracula. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and all I have that one written down as well, Dino. Yep. Okay. It's a kick-ass movie. I mean, they, it's, it's a period piece, but still like the... The weaponry they used was kind of modern ish, right? Mm-hmm. It was fun. So, you yeah. Know. Van Helsing. Cool effects it. for the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I haven't seen that in a long time. What year was that again? 2004. 2004, yeah. man. I went to a midnight showing of that actually when it came out, and then me and my friend went and got steak and shake afterwards in high school. It was good times. Sounds great. It right. was great. I, I love yeah. hearing about your old memories. Milkshakes and werewolves yeah. and vampires mm-hmm. is cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a good job under the table. That's 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 cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for you, Nick? Uh, this is a stretch. Badness. Admittedly, it is a stretch. A stretch. Admittedly, however, uh, I'm thinking of these classic characters, and one of them, like what what mummy adaptations were there? I couldn't help but think back to the mummy. Uh, the the sure. original Brendan Fraser, yep. uh, the Mummy. I love that movie, and I've mm-hmm. seen it a bunch of times. And I mean, they made what? There was a few of his Mummy Returns and all yeah. this and that. There was a spinoff, um, The Scorpion King, and all that stuff. Um, oh shit! The uh, uh, Tom Cruise just re- rebooted it. 
couple years back, yeah. didn't he? Really? Yeah. He did. Yeah. They were trying to. I mean, to... it shit the bed. Yeah. That's where they were trying yeah. to do the whole new uh, classic uh, dark universe or universal something like movies. That. Yeah. Just they wanted terrible. to start with that, but it shit the bed. So they had to like rethink all of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't yep. even know about it at all. So, but uh, well, there you go. anyway, You're not the, the, only the, one. <laughs> the original, um, I thought was awesome. Uh, very enjoyable, very cool uh, plot. And um, yeah, just very much enjoyed the mummy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that, that definitely yeah. was a that was, that was a hit for him. That's for sure. Like yeah. I said, the first one fun. The other ones eh, kind of fell off for me. The first one right is great because well, they got rid of Brendan Fraser. That's right. That's, that's what, what they did, didn't they? What's what's her name? Yeah. What's her? The, she was in all of them. The she's real cute. Uh, what's uh, her? Weiss, uh, Rachel, Rachel Weiss. Weiss. Yeah, Weiss. yeah, Weiss. Yeah. They try to branch off into Scorpion King on this and that and the other. Just yeah. that, just, yeah. just, that, that just made money though. Scorpion King. Yeah. Made, Quite a that bit was money. The Rock's first. That was his like first. Yeah, that full, was like, his, breakout. He, his cameo yeah. was in, as the Scorpion King in one of like Mummy Returns or something. Right. And then the Scorpion King was like his movie where he was the lead and all that stuff. Okay. Very good. Bad CGI Scorpion Centaur looking mm-hmm. man Scorpion thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good times, Brian. One of my favorites of movies starring a Dracula. And this was in the eighties. One of my favorite eighties movies. Period. Uh, Fright Night. You ever see the original Fright Night? Now, they redid it uh, with Colin Farrell over the past, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 20, 15 yeah. years, something like that. But the original Fright Night was in the in mid-'80s. Uh, the great uh, Roddy McDowell, who uh, you may know from the original Planet of the Apes movies yeah. as Cornelius, Cornelius the Ape. Yeah. Yes, good actor. Concept was the kid uh, is living is a teenage kid and he thinks the guy living next door to him is a vampire. Not sure, weird behavior. He's watching, and he's a big horror movie fan. And the local uh, uh, host of the local uh, network station is like a Van Helsing type character, mm-hmm. he, you know, on the show. So he goes to talk to him thinking he can help determine if his neighbor is a vampire or not. Of course, he turns out to be the actual Dracula living next door and it's all kinds of you know, dark humor and funny moments and different things like that. So, the concept is fun. What I mean, Corey I mean, Feldman, was it? No. I can't think of the kid's name. It was just a, you know, I don't know if he had many, many roles after that, but uh, a lot of fun, great movie, and like I said, the reboot, I think I watched the reboot, it wasn't too bad. So just the concept is fun and interesting. You think about your neighbor in the modern world being the actual Count Dracula, and you have to try to go stop him. So, Fright Night. A lot of fun. Thanks. Yep. Dean? Okay, I'm going to go kind of uh, on Nick's concept uh, with uh, Brendan Fraser. Um, mm-hmm. This necessarily wasn't um, a Universal Monsters movie. I I thought about this back and forth, but the one character does qualify as an Invisible Man. But okay. all of these characters have a have monster movie qualities. I'm going to go with Doom Patrol on HBO. Okay. Mm, okay. Um, uh, Matt Bomber plays. Uh, negative a man. man. Okay. Yeah. Well, n- you don't know because he. <laughs> I mean, he is a handsome man, but he also He's a man. You, he doesn't. You don't see him. I mean, there's some flashbacks where you see him as him, but he's he's in him. He's the invisible man or something like that. Negative man. I guess is his name. But yeah, all of those characters have kind of that. That I think that whole series has that feel to it. So yeah. Again, I don't know if I. If it qualifies in this situation, but it's close enough, so it does yeah. not. But move along. Right. <laughs> Just not. We will not allow it. However, moving on. Right. <laughs> it does this is not. Me not giving a shit. Too, so. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Thank you That's for right. wasting our time. Moving on. That's right. Yeah. All right. Be better in your text and let's, let's hear from yeah, the next person. That's no big deal. We clearly stated. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. You know, Dracula, clarity is, is... Frankenstein's monster, creature from the Black Lagoon. Negative mummy, man is. is or, it, uh-huh. yeah, well, fucking Hollow Man wasn't a. <laughs> call, the Invisible Man. 
I will give you that because at least there wasn't an invisible man and there was an invisible right. man. Right. That's okay. That's all right. It's okay. And there That's was a little right. werewolf girl at one point. All right. Okay. <laughs> can I disconnect this? I, nah, can you, can you edit God, in a I screen can't. grab of the text messages I, so that we <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. We'll put, <laughs> put it up there prominently. <laughs> I can show it off the iPad. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> No, it, <laughs> I'm trying to bring. Yeah. I'm yep. trying to bring depth and entertainment. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. all right, that's, that's right. almost as good a maneuvering as he did yep. during the uh, Dumbledore no, conversation. I'm trying to bring. That's right. I got one more for you, Son of Kong. Now, anyway. Nick, what else you got? <laughs> I was say, is, is that a universal? <laughs> no. Maybe it was, um, I don't know, but it wasn't on the list. Go ahead. No. I've got one. I'm going to make Brian proud. You ready for this? I've mm-hmm. got one that includes all of these characters and good so many more. You. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Being the good boy that I was, I followed mm-hmm. directions, and I stuck to what the text message clearly stated. Uh, but <laughs> <All directions. laughs> Anyway, um... Uh, having children, we, we, uh, watched some family movies and one of the more enjoyable animated films, uh, here recently has been the Hotel Transylvania movies. Oh yeah. Uh, Adam okay, Sandler, sure. Kevin James, Steve Buscemi, all voice these characters, Wolfman, Adam Sandler's Dracula, and we got Frankenstein. This series stuff. I've been, talked about was entertaining. So uh, we don't know because I, we were we were only sticking to to the mm-hmm. ones that Brian specifically asked for. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm not I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, the Hotel Transylvania movies are a fun family watch, and uh, you know clearly, uh, you know, uh, not even draw from, but directly take those those classic monster characters. And uh, put them Make into a, city cartoon. a fun little movie. So you know what? Don't be mad. At I'm not the bad. Hotel Transylvania not, nope. franchise because you can't follow directions. Mm-hmm. It's not Adam Sandler's fault, okay? It's not my no, fault. But, it's not Adam Sandler's fault. fucking little Nicky was, Jesus. <laughs> That's All a right. fucking great movie. How dare you? Gold, gold star, Nick. Good job. Thank you, Brian. Terrific. Thank you. You're, you're, yeah. you're yeah. dad's favorite. Okay, so. I mean, I'm we didn't need to... this, but okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, yep. I'll take my turn next, if you don't mind. Thank you. No, actually, you 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 jumped in. Early. This guy hates directions. It should have been. I Nick, you hates yeah. directions. Yeah, yeah you I did him. when when yes, I did. Oh, I'm so sorry. Then yeah, not I lose a gold star. But, I well, yeah, I mean, but, okay. don't apologize let's, to him, Dad. You don't have to take that point out. Who mm-hmm. follows directions? You know. Let's, mm-hmm. 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 All right, so I'm going, to actually, shit. I'm going to jump in here, and I'm going to give you four movies. Mm. Okay, and are any of them characters that Brian asked for? <laughs> Did Brian ask you to suck his dick? Because I think that's what's happening. Okay. <laughs> No, seriously, did he ask you? Because he, he didn't ask me. <laughs> anyway, okay. No, all right. So I'm going Abbott and Costello meets. And from 1948 to 51, 53, 55, you have Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein, Abbott and Costello mm-hmm. meets the Invisible Man, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and the Mummy. All yep. of those are classic and amazing fucking comedies. So that's my, I'm going to lump all four of those into one. That very good, very good. I have those. I get the original. I get the box sets, like I said, of the original, like you know, the, all the movies, all the Dracula movies, all the Frankenstein, uh, all those Abbott and Costello movies are included awesome. in, in those as well. So yeah, they're, cool. they're, they're fun, yeah. And the Frankenstein one is a bonus. Has actual Bella Lugosi coming back to playing Dracula in oh. that particular movie. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right, very good. Sorry, so Nick, now it's back to you because I jumped in earlier. So, what's your next? I one? don't. I had five, and that's we. Yeah. I, that was it. That's all I got. Okay. So you I can. Think, wrap well, it up, I, I doubled up with Dean, but yeah. Well, my fifth one is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. I used to watch this cartoon every every Saturday, and it definitely made its way into syndication. Watched it all the time, and there's been tons of. Uh, versions of it, there are different reiterations. I would argue, arguably, I think it's one of the most successful animated 
franchises that's ever existed that spawned a couple of live action movies starring this little guy right here I'm showing mm. on the camera. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo series. Yeah, there's been certainly, you know, all the classic iterations of the movie yeah. monsters, and then some have been in the Scooby Doo series uh, throughout time. Um, I mean, does this, it count that they that all of them ended up being having to take the mask off and it wasn't them? You're right. It was it was all humans playing playing those characters, but there were still there were Draculas, there were mummies, there were you know, yeah. monsters. <laughs> I hate to bring this to you, but people uh, were playing all the other versions of the monsters. I know. I know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, oh, actors, actors. Yeah, that's right. All all the actual <laughs> monsters were actual monsters, right? They were actors. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Scooby Doo. Not all of them. There it's was stuff. actually one that was real. You have to figure it out. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Eddie, I, he was a monster. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. Not to that's Dean, true. but to some people. Okay, for <laughs> but we're not going to get into this. We're not going to get into this. I'm not going to let you rope me in to your pettiness and childish <laughs> arguments. Brian, tell us about Scooby Doo and how much you love him. <laughs> it's just, it just great. The whole concept was was fun and and fun. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo. Uh, yeah. And Kevin uh, Spacey, apparently, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our that's our personal Mount Rushmore. I want you to recap your personal Mount idiot Mount Rushmores. Uh, Dean, when we start with you, sir. Um, I did Dracula, Dead and Loving It, mm -hmm. uh, Hollow Man, Van Helsing, uh, Doom Patrol. But I'm, I'm keeping it all in there. Try again. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Abbott, all of the Abbott and Costello movies. All right, and um, the uh, Mel Finger. The what? Oh, you didn't you didn't hear it? Let me turn it up. <laughs> oh. Very good. <laughs> Nick, what were your five again? Uh, I had the Mummy, Werewolf by Night, Hotel Transylvania, The Monsters, and Van Helsing. Very good. All right, Young Frankenstein, also The Monsters, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Scooby Doo, and Fright Night. Any honorable mentions? Uh, anybody? I mean, I had Young Frankenstein as a uh, along with you. That's why I didn't put it on mine because you had it on yours. But he okay. was on my list. Very good. Nick, any others? No. Okay. I rewatched <laughs> this not long ago. So just, I don't know if you ever saw that. I think it was from the '80s as well. You ever see Monster Squad? Monster I Squad. I hear everybody I talk about it and how good mm -hmm. it was. I I didn't see it as a kid. No. Yeah, fun movie. You can find it out there, of course, like everything else. You can find it on streaming. I think I watched it last season there, too. As a matter of fact, I don't think I ever watched the whole thing until last season, but it was, you know, a lot of people were nostalgic about it. And this and that. It's a, it's a, the concept is very simple. It's a group of young kids, and they wind up having to try to fight Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, uh, I think a Wolfman. It's all the classic characters. They're yeah. all the actual monsters were in this town. And these group of young kids are trying to stop them uh, from taking over the town and taking over the world, or this and that and the other. So it's a lot of fun. So I've got an honorable Marvel mention. Spot. Go ahead. I've got an honorable mention. Mm -hmm. How and, and I'm going to actually move away from even movies or TV shows. I'm going to go mm -hmm. with the, the Monster Mash. Sure. Because they were all there and they were dancing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Monster yep. Man. <laughs> yep. Very popular song in the 60s, kids. Yep. You want to see a right. cool thing. Um, you can YouTube it. The guy who wrote it and, and sang it. If you've ever mm -hmm. seen him actually sing it, it is... Um, oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, like he's, his was face distorts. Suit? and yeah, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. But it, it is something to watch so if you YouTube it. Yes, indeed. The monster he, was like, mash. He, he was like on American Bandstand or something yeah, like these, that. Dick you know, Young, like weird Dick Clark introduced face. him. You're a monster mash. You know, he had a fucking stroke. It's a little <laughs> disturbing, but... <laughs> just bizarre. All right, well, yeah. j all right, just just in general, guys, So, do you have do any of these characters, do any of them, do you have a particular favorite of all the classic characters? What yes. What is your favorite and why? Go ahead. Dean. The cast from Doom Patrol. Next. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. 
Mm-hmm. He's being difficult on purpose is what he's doing. That's all right. What you, what you um, my favorite would be honestly the the Invisible Man. Right. I like Why? the concept. Uh, I like the concept of of not being seen. Um, I love that concept for you as well. <laughs> it's good. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I like being wrapped up in bandages. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm fetish, so <laughs> kind of really does it for me. <laughs> no, like what is more frightening than the unknown and the unseen, right? That, that 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 the killer monster type thing could be in the room with you, that's and you right. have no clue. Yep. So yeah. that's why I enjoy the uh, Hollow Man, the Invisible yeah. Man, the Very Negative good. Man. There you go. <laughs> that's good. Uh, that, 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 that was some real terror. You're right. That was a whole different uh, yeah. concept of terror back in its time. So absolutely, it would started. be scary, certainly as a uh, you know being pursued by that character, being that you can't see them. You know what I mean? Right. Like you mm-hmm. can't, you don't even know what to run from. You don't even know where they are. Right. At least like, Frankenstein, you know, you see him coming at you, right. you know, growling and stuff. This guy's lurking in plain sight. Yeah. Yeah. If you've never seen it, the original, go back and watch the original Invisible Man. Most of the okay. movie was shot like in just in a small inn. So he was uh, on the run and he was in a small inn. So it was really just him and the people that were staying there at the time. And I have to imagine that the effects back then was probably pretty amazing for its time, where oh, you sure. have the you yeah. know, just have the you know the bandages. He takes the bandages off, and his jacket's still kind of there, and everything like that. Right, it's, yeah. it's, it had to be pretty pretty scary. So it's a, it actually a very interesting movie. Go ahead. As we we're talking, I do have a last minute honorable mention to throw in. I sure. just thought of it as Dean was talking, and as you mentioned a few things, it was trigger jacket there and things like that. Michael Jackson, Werewolf and Thriller. That's that's a. Uh, it's a great, a great homage to classic horror movies, mm-hmm. and he turns into a werewolf at the end. He's not just great makeup, great effects for the time. Oh, and uh, yeah, like Michael Jackson thriller. Like, Are you gonna bust my balls about Doom Patrol? And you, because he was a werewolf, J- Dean. There was a werewolf girl in that movie, and there was an invisible man. He was a wolf man. What do you want me to say? You're a wolf man, Brian. Do we count it? <laughs> Let's go to the judges. Is it? Does it qualify? It definitely plays homage to the original. There's no, no there question about it. Like a there teenage werewolf type character. Absolutely. You two just go off to the side yeah. and dock with each other. And... Yep. <laughs> oh, well, way, this has been wolf. a great episode. Oh, this, Brian and I have, I have yeah. somewhere to be. Uh, so. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, um, what are, are these, are these classic characters your favorite? Yeah. Uh, my favorite, actually, all kissing ass aside, is the one on your shirt. Uh, the, as a kid, mm-hmm. I didn't, you know, watch these movies. I, you know, you're familiar with the characters just by way of pop culture and uh the creature of the black lagoon was hands down the coolest one for me uh just because he was the most ad- uh adventurous from a creative standpoint like as far as appearance like he was mm-hmm. you know what i mean frankenstein is clearly a guy with green face paint walking like this with the flat top, and then you know dracula still looks like a person but the creature of the black lagoon there was a little more uh theatrics with that i love the costume i thought he was really cool and uh this kind of like fish man thing it was just something completely different to me at the time um so the creature of the black actually we had a, a stray cat uh as a child that my mom couldn't resist stray cats and still can't she just feeds them and puts food out on her porch but there was one that i named the creature of the black lagoon at the time as, as a, like a five-year-old just because i thought it was a cool character and uh but yeah that one was always cool i remember like seeing uh you know snippets of like swimming through the water and stuff like that and and uh i just thought he was you know now look it's yes it's all campy and it's you know outdated and all that stuff but i mean for what it was and at the time i just thought it was a really uh you know, certainly aesthetically, it was just a really cool character. So, the creature of the Black Lagoon was always my favorite of those classics. Yeah, so, good. what about it, you, it, Brian? I agree. They definitely look cool for sure. And the first, if you, I didn't watch the first one until I got the box set, uh, like again, like a year or so. It's scary, violent. Is it? Yeah. I think deaths and stuff. He comes out of the water, kills people. It's all kinds of, it's a whole thing. I think for me, that of all those characters, I, I I like Frankenstein's monster in many respects. I think the look is awesome. I think it's uh, definitely a tragic character because certainly he it's not his fault that he was created. He was born into this world and you know, he didn't want to be. And if you go back and watch the original, which actually a very short movie, like it's only just over an hour long, was the original Frankenstein's that, monster. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, very I just short, watched it the first time a couple years ago. Yeah. 
And the, the uh, cin- cinematography on it, it for being a black and white film and, and for its time was terrific. Oh yeah, it's just awesome. It's a great film, yeah. regardless of how long it is. I agree with you. Just a tragic figure, and the first movie really portrays that very well. Yeah. Uh, I, even one of his lines was, you know, he's just a very lonely character. He All he wanted to do was have friends. That's it. He just didn't know how to make friends. And uh, even, he even says a line in the original movie, low, something like loneliness, bad, friends, good, something like that. So he just was, again, just tragedy. And then the different versions of them were fun. Obviously, Young Frankenstein's a good. Herman Munster is with a, you know, obviously a terrific version of the Frankenstein's monster. A lot of fun. So, yeah, just the look of him and everything I always thought was pretty pretty awesome and as a kid i had a life-size frankenstein's monster poster thing in my room that was one of my parents always let me have weird stuff and all that i ordered off the back of a comic book one of those type of ads (laughs) nice it took up the whole wall i remember (laughs) laying in my bed as a kid standing in front of me here i had this big frankenstein's monster poster because i always thought the look of that was was really cool so there you have it Speaking of life size, and uh, like I have the life size uh, thing of here of Homer. Um, Mm -hmm. Can we throw the honorable mention to uh, many thirty plus years of Treehouse of Horrors, where they Uh, where they've done Mm -hmm. all of those characters throughout the thirty years? Yep, and just great uh, Halloween viewing. Just tonight too, dear. So I watched today. I watched the the werewolf, uh, you know, uh, by night, and then. Treehouse of Terror, thirty-four. For wow, crazy, that's sake. crazy. Yeah, and sure. again, each one of those, well done in, in Absolutely. many respects. Yeah, thirty-four, amazing. All right, well, all right. Well, one more thing that's amazing, guys, is you can get amazing tattoo work from our final sponsor. Go check out uh, Golden Heart Tattoo uh, in Norton. I just Ohio. got my new. Uh, I just got my new Hall- uh, Halloween one. Did you look yeah, right here? The Invisible Man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah right terrific. <laughs> Robin That's actually stu- did get a, uh, just I last week, a, a Halloween uh, Nightmare Before Christmas uh, tattoo yeah. from, from Greg over there. Yep. I saw that. Yeah, very good work. Is the, mm-hmm. the, the holding the, the holding the dog, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Zero the yep. dog. Zero the dog. Very cool. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so you may get your own uh, you know, Halloween theme tattoo, otherwise a Golden Heart tattoo. Go check them out on Facebook at Golden Heart Norton, N O R T O N. Uh, give them a call at 234 706 2982. Find them online at goldenhearttattoos.com. I'll be going back in early November to get more work done. Another Twilight Zone theme tattoo on the old sleeve here from mm-hmm. uh, Buddy Scott. So, absolutely. Beautiful. All right. All right, guys. Well, another terrifying thing is that we've come to another end. <sighs> another episode of no, convincing enough. idiots that's mean right boys. mean boys that's, that's right nick you know you, uh, maybe an iteration of any combination you wish of how the about classic. the invisible man uh, yeah <laughs> yep yep all right ready <laughs> i got the invisible man doing the outro there you go and frankenstein's voice ready Awesome. Go for it. Convincing idiots. Good. (laughs) No podcast to listen to. Bad. If you don't want this to be your lonely fate, then you must go to Convincing Idiots Linktree. Log your ass over to Google and type in <laughs> Convincing Idiots link tree. <laughs> you can also find that information on the World Wide Web. This is an old man who had dental surgery. <laughs> Convincing Idiots <laughs> dot WordPress <laughs> dot Calm. So, for this episode of Convincing Idiots, I am the Frank Invisible Millennial, Nick. Any old <laughs> And I 
Jedex Brian. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Have we convinced you to join us in convincing Dean to follow the fucking <laughs> rules on the next episode of Convincing Idiots? Hey everybody, Gen X Brian with Monial Nick and Zenial Dean. You know, we need more people besides Nick's mom watching us. Give us a like and subscribe. <laughs>